this video, we're going to look at the new Report Studio features of Cognos 10. So I'm going to go into Report Studio by clicking Author Advanced Reports. And you can see the new splash screen welcoming you to Cognos Report Studio. So I'm going to create a new report, and you'll instantly notice that we've got a few new reporting options. Uh, in addition to statistics, they've also added interactive reporting. So let's take a look at each of these. If I click on statistics and say OK, and you'll see that it brings up a statistics wizard. So I'm just going to do a simple control chart, an X bar, and say OK. Once the package loads, you'll see that we now have a wizard style walkthrough. So the first thing it asks me to do is select one or more measures. I'm going to select measures from within my cells, and I'll look at quantity and revenue, and drag those to the drop measures area and choose next. Now it's asking me what should my subgroups be, so at this point I'm choosing what to, to check those against. I'm going to look at branch, and from within branch I'll choose my branch level, and again I'll say next. And then finally it wants to look at cases, so for cases I want to compare over time. So I'm going to choose year as my case variables, and then I'll choose finished. We've now built an X bar chart, and if I run this chart, you'll see that we now have a statistics-based control chart, an X-bar chart, where we can see the average and we can see any outliers very quickly. The tool will automatically plot an upper control le limit and a lower control limit, uh, standard in statistics, and you can see by the red dots that these are outside of the control limits, thus a rule viol violation. And you can see more details about each of these below. So let's close this and we'll go back to the chart dialog. I'm just going to create a new report, again a statistics report, and I want to look at some of the different statistics type charting that were, were provided. So this is something that Cognos has not had in the past as a way to show statistic based elements, but now with the, this new feature we're essentially integrating statistics into the Cognos suite. So those of you who have a need for statistics within your reporting, this tool is now able to meet that need. The next thing that I want to look at are the interactive reports. So I'll do a new report again, and we won't save the one we were just working with. I'll choose a blank interactive report and say OK. And if I go to my toolbox, you'll notice that my toolbox is different within my interactive reports area than it is within my other reporting types a lot of data related elements that you can add to the page. For our purposes we're going to drag on a couple of lists and we're going to look at how those lists are related to one another. So I'll drag a list onto the page and I'll drag a second list below a block. I'm now going to populate my list with data from my tree. So I'll look at order method as well as different cells information. On my bottom chart, I'm also going to look at order method, as well as product lines. And we'll look at a few measures associated with those as well. Now the first thing we do to make these interactive is we choose the relationship interactive behavior icon in the upper right. And essentially what we're telling it is that we want to control list 2 by what we click on in list 1. And the options are do we want to filter or do we want to select and if we select we're going to highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and say filter and we'll go ahead and say connect these two. The two are now connected and we'll say OK. So this essentially creates a relationship between the top list and the bottom list. If I now clicked on order method when running this report it would automatically filter the list at the bottom with the data that's already there without having to refresh the report. Next I want to look at some of the new charting features available within Report Studio. So I'll do a new report once again and I'll choose chart as my option. If you watched our Business Insight Advanced video you've seen these charts already but if you're new to Cognos 10 these are entirely new charts. Cognos actually has adopted a new charting engine which now allows them to do more advanced charting than they were able to do before. So you see that we now have the option to add triangles, 
Also, within our pies, we also have donuts, as well as the ability to bring out pieces of the pie. There's the addition of bullet charts, which were not previously available. And you can see below that that the gauge charts are actually much more advanced now as well, as opposed to previously where there was only one. And then finally, within our advanced area, there are some advanced charting capabilities that were not there in Cognos 8. So let's look at some of these new features. We'll start off with a pie with a piece coming out of it and say OK. The first thing we need to do is decide what our measure will be. So I'm going to look at these pies based on revenue. And I want to see revenue by order method by year. So we'll choose our order method as the slices of our pie. From within time, we'll choose year as our categories. So let's run this report to see how it's going to look. Now the first thing you'll probably notice is that our pies are all different sizes. Whereas previously the pies would all be one size, this allows us to see even more information than we could before. With what we're looking at here, we can very quickly tell that in 2004, our revenues were lower than they were in 2005, 2006, or 2007, because the 2004 pie is smaller. And the new feature is this piece where you see the piece of the pie sticking out. Next, let's add a table to our report and start bringing in more charts. So I'll put a chart into the lower right quadrant. I'm going to choose a pyramid style cone. In the upper left, I'll put another chart. And we'll use one of our advanced gauges. And for our upper right, we'll use one of our advanced charts and we'll look at a heat map. So if you've seen Business Insight, you probably are thinking this looks pretty similar. The difference is really that in Report Studio, you have all the powers of the property pane. So I'm going to convert this chart over to our first query. And now I have the ability to reuse some of these elements. So we'll use revenue as my measure. And we'll look at year as our axes. On my heat map, I'm going to start over new. I'm going to use quantity as my default measure. And then for series, I want to look at product line. Finally, for access, I'll look at all of this information by year. And then with our cone-based chart in the bottom right, we'll stay with year for our x-axis. We'll look at product lines again for our primary axis, or our series, and we'll look at this according to margin. One thing you'll notice is that these automatically highlight and create previews of what it's going to look like once we run it. But you'll also notice that the data is not showing, it's just showing how it's going to look. So let's create a new report again to show our last feature of the new report studio for Cognos 10. I'm going to create a list report. And you'll notice above our insertable objects area that we've got a few new icons. The most important of which is possibly the manage external data icon. If I click this item, I now have the ability to add my own data to the report. So I'm going to browse, and from my desktop, I'm going to choose the NFL.CSV file. As you can see, we've brought in the column headers for the NFL.CSV file. We've got the ability now to do some data mapping if we want to tie this into an existing report, add attributes to this and say what are integers versus what are summaries, where the decimal places should be, and formatting. And then we can actually map this into an existing query subject if we chose to. I'm not going to do any of those things. I'm going to take the defaults and say finish. And I'm going to choose to publish this. So we get a pop-up that the new namespace, Go Sales Analysis External Data, will be based on the metadata from this CSV file. And we'll say OK. So you can see that our new package and our new namespace are now available as managed external data. So if I expand Go Sales, you'll see the same namespaces that we had previously. But now I also have the addition of this NFL namespace. So let's take a look at the data we just imported from CSV. I'm going to grab player, team, division, 
city, state, and total salary information. Let's format total salary as currency with zero decimal places and say OK. And then let's put a filter on state. By choosing state and hitting filter now, we get a pop-up similar to what you would see in Query Studio previously that lets us choose a state to filter on because state's what was highlighted. So we'll only look at Illinois and run the report. And you can see from our data that we now have a report from our CSV file of players who play for the Chicago Bears, which is in the NFC North in Chicago, Illinois, along with their salary information. Keep in mind, this data all came from an external data source that is sitting on my desktop. What this essentially allows the end user to do is bring in data that's not already modeled into a namespace or a package, and then add that data into their reporting environment. This feature was available within Series 7 in Prompt 2 as a pick list or hot list, but it was never available within Cognos 8. As a result, many customers requested this feature and Cognos has added it to meet the needs of those customers. This feature can be secured so that only certain users can add external data, and I believe that this feature is going to be extremely useful for many environments. So this concludes the Cognos 10 Report Studio demo. If you have any questions, as always, you can email sales at brightstarpartners.com.